But today we are in District 16 right along this park connector called Sungai Bedok Park Connector. Most of the time, landed homes at the back of the house, they will be facing towards another back of the house. And this is a very unique type of situation whereby you have great privacy as well as great opening towards this water body. Right in front of us, there's going to be Taramera MRT Station. And of course, when we talk about this park connector, that is going to bring us all the way down to Sungai Bedok MRT Station. Right behind us is where we have this very beautiful semi-D standing at a land size of 4,678 square feet going at a very attractive asking price of $6.8 million bringing the per square foot to be in a range of about 1,453 In the meantime, why don't you drive Property Brothers along this beautiful landed home tour right here at Bedok Ria Let's go! This is right along Bedok Ria Crescent and just right in front there with Bedok Road in terms of the distance so it's a mid road, you're not too far away yet at the same time you enjoy the peace and serenity of this location you have the Tanamera MRT station just right up front so it's just a short walking distance towards the MRT station and cliff right behind us this is where you have this very beautiful plot in terms of the entire plot dimension we are standing at 10 meters width in terms of the depth that is standing at about 43 meters deep so I would say in terms of the overall land size this is considered something that is very big because at 4,000 678 square feet, this is almost the land size of a detached and of course if let's say you're someone that we should buy into at least a semi-D status yet you want to enjoy the land size because if you're buying into a detached of course you have to set aside the setback at both the left and right and that will eat up into the space on the other hand if let's say you're someone that wants to have the land size but yet you want to have a bigger built-up space or the internal then of course this land plot will suit you very well so where I'm standing at right now, this is the car porch area. This entire land hasn't been built up to this maximum potential yet. So of course, some of the things that you might want to do is at $6.8 million, you can buy into this property where the number of bedrooms and bathrooms are excellent in terms of the entire configuration because right on level one is where you have your granny's room as well as a helper's room. And then as you head up to level two, you have three bedrooms and three baths with the potential to increase one more bedroom. So you can do that in terms of just simply going through a renovation route, keeping your entire price quantum to be still in the range of about six over million dollars or on the other hand you can invest close to about five hundred thousand dollars change this category from a current category two to a potential 3.5 going to walk you through what are some of the things that can be done right now because of this generous width of 10 meters this gives rise to lots of possibility now number one is you can potentially just flatten this entire space if you are a big family multi-gen family and you have multiple cars because from this balance shape where i'm standing at towards the boundary wall there is standing about 12.3 meters so this entire depth of 12.3 by about 10 meters you can potentially park four cars at least comfortably if you were to level this on the other hand if let's say you are someone that really wants to have like swimming pool for your kids and family you can turn this into a pool area keep this entire boundary wall and then create some level of depth and you can of course have this entire space to be your swimming pool area of course all these work have to be submitted if you intend to create a swimming pool but otherwise you can just simply level this we're going to walk around the exterior first and if you notice because of the generous land size of four six seven eight square feet most of the time when you exhibit this kind of characteristics of a semi d you do not need to keep to its two meters setback which is a requirement so what the owners have done is they have created a very good space in terms of the outdoor pavement as well as garden space so overall feel of this entire house isn't something that's claustrophobic so you have this very nice patio area that is adjoined to the dining space as we walk towards the back that will be the opening that you get. So majority of the landed homes are back-to-back -back facing due to characteristics of a landed zoning. Whereas if let's say you are someone that prefers maximum privacy, it's either towards the park facing, which is very rare, or towards the park connector, which is overlooking across this water body. So I would say in terms of light source for this semi day, this comes in from various angles from the back as well as the side.
Now as you step in, this will be the current configuration in terms of your living hall area where you can have your TV console tucked all the way towards that side. This can be a play zone area for your kids because this leads towards the outside of the house so you can have a bit of experiential play for your kids and as well as your extended family. Alternatively, some of the things that you might want to do in terms of just renovation is just to remove the entire ceiling board, just to raise up the height a little bit, create a cathedral effect and then you can have an overall refreshed look of the entire living hall. If let's say you want to embark into the major work kind of path then of course is to push out this entire wall front towards the start of the balustrade and then if again you're going to have the pool right at the front you can have a dedicated space right at the front of the living hall to be a bit of a mixture between the pool transition area as well as the kids play area and thereby increasing your entire living hall area making it very grand have a huge living hall as well as a TV feature wall that spans from this side all the way towards the start of the living hall increase the entire living sitting area and I think you're gonna have gorgeous space once you move towards the dining space this can be potentially a holding area if you want to have this as your dining space you can do so some of the things that you might want to do is to remove this section of the wall just right behind me of course you have to submit your plans get the PE certified link this out towards the alfresco area if you want you can extend this alfresco dining space towards the other side so that you can have a very nice backdrop against your dining space your entire dining space will then be elongated you can have a big round table or you can have a long rectangle table this will then be a great connecting area between the living area as well as the kitchen as you move towards the kitchen, you also notice that this entire space is extremely bright. This part has been extended to form the huge wet kitchen area with an island countertop. It gets very nice breeze through from the back where you do not have any blockage as well as towards the front where again you have great privacy. Right behind me is where you have your helper's rooms and right behind me is where you have your common bath as well as your utility room. Some of the things that you can do is if you want to push it outwards, you can still do so. Convert this kitchen space towards the outside so that you can have a full-on wet kitchen that is tucked towards the back. This entire space will then be your wet kitchen, your yard as well as laundry area. Convert this as part of the granny's room so that you can have a granny's room that is dedicated towards the inside of the house where you can still have the windows that are tucked towards the corner. This can definitely enhance the overall value because right towards here is where you have a big area where you can accommodate for a granny's room and of course with the rise of the granny's room you don't need to go up the attic level and thereby increasing the overall value of this property. So just to recap, we are standing at 4,678 square feet with an asking price of $6.8 million that brings the PSF to be about 1453. Buyers are buying into District 16 is also because the price movement in District 15, a PSF of close to about 1,006 to 1,007, about a million dollars of the price disparity. So for buyers that want to get great value in terms of PSF, then they will want to be looking towards the District 16 because of the Bayshore plan. Government land sale will be opening up in the period of about November 2024 towards Sungai Bedok MRT station, the new shopping mall at Bedok South MRT station, that's going to be integrated. So that entire area, when it transforms, it will definitely have a very positive impact in terms of the landed segment right around here. And that is exactly what is happening in District 15. And that entire space helps to push up the prices. I would say you still get to enjoy a very first mover advantage entering at a PSF of about $1,400 range, $6.8 million. You're buying to a huge land plot, enjoy a great uplifting in terms of the overall quantum approach appreciation. Spend about half a million, push out the living hall as well as some of the works that are up on the second level and you can increase the category from a current category 2 to a category 3 or 3.5 which will also allow you to have a very comfortable exit. You still have schools that are within the 1km radius and you're going to have great longevity of stay. Use this as a multi-gen kind of house concept. Once the valuation goes up, you can either take an equity term loan, put it into some other form of investment product and use this to continuously churn up for your entire entire family's portfolio planning. So in short, you're buying to an area where you enjoy a great price disparity between District 16 as well as District 15 with a price quantum of about $1 million. Spend half a million to spruce up this entire space category from a 2 to 3.5 while waiting for the price movement to catch up right over here. And I would say this ensures that you have a very comfortable exit in the next few years or so.
So as we move up to second floor, I think what immediately greets us is this beautiful family area. This is a dumbbell kind of concept where you have two bedrooms tucked towards the front and then the master that is tucked towards the back. You have windows, very nice beautiful arches which is back in the trend right now. You can just retain this as a family zone. This family zone is kind of like an L-shaped concept. You're gonna head towards the master. Master is extremely big. You have lots of cabinet space towards this side. I think the flooring is in great condition. Just give it a polish. I'm gonna show you the view towards here. Trust me, when you buy into a semi-D, this is the kind of view that you want because especially when you're investing about $6.8 million, you want to get this very nice vantage viewpoint towards the back of the house. You have the park connector, you have the water body. MRT station is just right in front, yet you do not get any sound coming in from the MRT track right on at Tanamera MRT station. So right behind us, those are zoned as office as well as light industrial space. We are just a short driving distance towards Jewel as well as Changi Business Park. So if you are East Lover, Simpang Bodo is just right in front, your work connectivity is just right around the corner ECP is just down this will be the walk-in wardrobe space you have a total of six cabinets right over here you can reconfigure the entire space bathroom is towards here you can just redo the entire tiling work just hack away everything redo the waterproofing get in all your toilet sanitaries and I would say you have a very decent space for your bathroom en suite As you head towards the common bedroom, now this comes with own ensuite and of course you have this very nice ceiling height. So again, if you want to kind of redo up the space, do feel free to come by, we'll be happy to share with you what are some of the things that can be done. All this four ceiling can still be pushed up because of the pitch roof that is right above. So you can choose to just remove this entire four ceiling, showcase the entire shape of roof pitch. I think you're gonna have a very nice cathedral effect in this bedroom. Junior ensuite is just right over here. So you're gonna have a very nice ensuite space. So you can use this as your junior master, standing shower, WC as well as basin are all done up. Just need to refresh them up and then you get a brand new configuration. As we head back towards the family zone, So the initial design and layout is that you have all the bedrooms tucked towards here and I think what the owner really want to do is to encompass great family time and thereby they remove these two bedrooms and this opens up the space for the family area. So I would say this is a very cleverly done kind of concept. Of course, you have to step down towards this because of the structure. If you really want to kind of level this up, you can do so because the pitch roof is still quite high up. Get your architect to come here, get your builder to come and assess the place. This is a very nice and deep decent bedroom size. You have five panels of wardrobe that's tucked towards this wall, queen size bed, side table, fronting towards the front as well as the side. So these have a lot of windows as well as light coming into this bedroom. Of course, this bedroom will not have your own ensuite, so your bathroom will then be tucked on the outside. And last but not least, you have this common bath that's currently serving your one single common bedroom. Alternatively, if you were to embark onto the major kind of A and A work, some of the things that you might want to do is you can have the lift landing to be either right over at this position or towards this position. And once you do that, you can really again open up this skylight over here, and then you can create additional bedrooms right on this level. The configuration is great. You can have the luxury to go into the A and A route to spruce out the entire space, introduce the swimming pool at the front, the lift right over here, increase the bedrooms, reconfigure this entire space level the car porch area, increase the roofing and uh, keeping your entire costing to be in a range of about close to five to $600,000. But of course, at the same time, once you invest this amount, you're also increasing your category of your property from a Cat 2 home to potentially a Cat 3 to 3.5 kind of home. This will definitely enhance your overall value whilst you're enjoying a great price spread. Because from 6.8, if once you invest about $500,000, that's gonna bring your entire entry price to be in a range of about 7.3 based on the asking price. As you take a look, at the price is pretty 7.3 for a potential cat 3 to 3.5 home in district 16 what you get in district 15 are potentially going towards a range of about eight million dollars so you're still having a great price disparity while waiting for the kind of transformation as well as master plan to take shape right around here if you are someone that really loves to stay in the east you want to be near towards the park you want to be near towards the amenities because you have the Simpang Bodo, you have the MRT station, you have the Bodo Round Corner Market just right down below. You have plenty of school zones within 1km. 
I would say this is a great area where you can buy, stay for long term, depending on your family needs, you can embark on either the renovation route or towards the A&A &A route. I would say the choice is uh, quite free up to you, but most importantly, you're buying into a good characteristics home in terms of semi-D, great land size, while waiting for the transformation as well as the appreciation to take place. Right, so we've come to the end of this beautiful land of home tour right here in District 16. Just to give you a quick recap, this is standing at a very generous land size of 4,678 square feet. Plot width is 10 meters, plot depth is about 43 meters. Great land plot for you to reconfigure again to your own needs. Set in an area with lots of transformation, connectivity, Tanamera MRT station, as well as a future Thomson East Coast line, as well as the entire Bayshore plan. Best thing of all is you're getting into a first mover advantage buying to an area where you enjoy great price disparity in terms of the PSF from 1004 to 1006 to 1700 in District 15 as well as a very healthy price quantum disparity of close to about a million dollars able to allow you to invest close to about $500,000 to spruce up the space to increase the category from a Cat 2 to a potential Cat 3.5 if you like what you see do feel free to get in touch with our listing team contact details are down below subscribe to our various channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Xiao Hongshu my name is Josh Payne from Property and Brothers always happy to show you the place right here at at where at Bedok Ria let's go eh don't 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 so your bathroom would then be tucked on the outside ba -ba. Uh, then, what else have Great value in terms of land size as well as PSF. <laughs> 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 <laughs>